Britain, a place which has had many jokes and memes about it for a very long time. It's also a place which is home to some quality films. I want to talk about how British films are incredibly important to the film industry, especially during the 21st century. First off, we should classify what a British film actually is. It is mainly up to the film's producer whether a film is classified as British when they submit it to be considered for a BAFTA. The British Film Institute can pass a cultural test to see if a film can be labelled as British. The test looks at whether the characters speak English, whether British locations are used, and if the cast and crew are British. A film has to score at least 16 points out of 31 to pass as a British film. For example, you may have a film like 2013's Gravity. It was named Outstanding British Film at the BAFTAs. Even though the story doesn't take place in the UK, the director, Alfonso Cuaron, is Mexican and the actors are from the USA. Gravity was judged to be a British film because it was filmed in the UK and the special effects were made in Britain. It is unlikely for a film to be 100% British because actors and directors work with many different people from around the world. So what is the appeal of British films? According to the BFI, 70% of international audiences view British film and TV as high quality, so there is a wide range of people who like British films. For British people specifically, there are some which may be very relatable. Films like Train Spotting, Fish Tank and I, Daniel Blake all explore issues that many people will relate to, but to have them set in Britain adds to the relatability of the subject matter. And I want to see characters, stories, issues that relate to me. They set industry standards that other areas of the world aren't able to. It sort of like shows that America isn't the only like form of like creative media like being outputted into the world. So I think seeing stuff made by British people about Britishness, about British stories, is just really important and part of our enriches British culture, having British cinema. On the other hand, you have British comedies like the Cornetto trilogy, Snatch and Four Lines, which have very British jokes in them, so they may appeal more to a British audience. People all over the world may watch British films because they want to learn more about British culture. According to the BFI in 2021, two thirds of tourists say that they went to Britain because they liked the way it was portrayed in film or TV. British films also tend to be more independent, so aspiring filmmakers from around the world may watch British films for inspiration. I don't think British films will overrun Hollywood. Will British films ever overrun Hollywood? It just it's never going to happen. Um, I think uh, British films will creep into Hollywood more, as they have been in the last few decades. You know, you've got stuff like The Imitation Game and uh, the Bond film Skyfall. I think it also will be like a merger sort of thing, where like they sort of help each other out like here and there. British films are very important to the film industry for a number of reasons. One of them is that you have film franchises like Harry Potter and James Bond, which have a global fan base. The Harry Potter films made about $7.7 .7 billion worldwide, and the James Bond film was made over £7 billion. These two properties are staples of British culture, and they will be for a very long time. Another reason is that some of the highest praised actors and directors working today are British. With actors, you have people like Christian Bale, Gary Oldman, Judi Dench and Emma Thompson, among many others. With directors, you have names like Ridley Scott, Christopher Nolan, Guy Ritchie and Sam Mendes. If any of these names are attached to a project, then it grabs people's attention instantly simply because they are involved. Even outside those roles, Roger Deakins is seen as the best and most famous cinematographer working today, with 16 Oscar nominations and winning two of them for Blade Runner 2049 and 1917. So what effect has British cinema had on film as a whole? I think one thing you could say about a lot of Hollywood films is what's a Hollywood film? Because quite a lot of them are made over here, using British talent, using British studios, using British crew. So, OK, yeah, they're Hollywood funded, but quite a lot of it may be made over here. Have British films become more popular over the years? I don't think so. I think there's peaks and troughs. Yeah, there's, there's tons of British things people love. I mean, in the early 2000s, you've of course had Harry Potter. Like where like they've been popular at one point and then they've all, all of a sudden sort of like almost died out and then they've come back. From a production standpoint, according to the BFI, the total spending of film production in the UK in 2022 was a record £6.27 billion. The growth rate of the UK film industry is expected to be 4% between 2022 and 2026. As of right now, there isn't really a British equivalent to Hollywood, but there are popular British production companies like Pinewood Studios which is where most of the James Bond films were filmed. 
I believe that British cinema is going to get more and more popular and it is going to open the doors for many new careers.